This morning on today's checklist, we're helping you avoid the aches and pains from lugging around heavy backpacks or bags. Mm -hmm. Whether you're traveling, maybe gearing up uh, for the kids returning to school, some simple changes can make a big difference. And here with some tips and tricks, Karina Wu. She's a board certified clinical specialist in orthopedic physical therapy. Karina, good to have you back. Hi. Thank you. Good morning. So let's just start with like when you lift more than you should, when you carry more than you should on your back, what are some of the potential risks? So the biggest risk when you're carrying too heavy a weight in any bag is neck pain, shoulder or arm pain, back pain. If you have difficulty lifting the bag, severe difficulty without good form, you have a potential increase for injury. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if you're unable to lift, the bag, it is too heavy. There's too much weight. So the ideal amount of weight that you should have in a bag is between 10 to 20 percent of your body weight. 10 to 20 percent mm. of your body weight. Yes. Regardless of what your body weight is. We're talking adults and kids. Adults and kids. Okay. 10 percent is the ideal. So if you're a 200 pound male, 40 pounds is supposed to be your max. 10 pounds would be ideal. Okay. You've got a quick okay. exercise yes. for folks watching at home that we can do to correct our posture, maybe make us a little bit stronger as well. Yes. So how you carry yourself around is just as important as what you're carrying around and where you're carrying it around. So postural correction is standing up nice and tall, putting your weight equally between both feet, hip width distance. You're going to pretend like you're a puppet mm -hmm. or for the ladies, a ballerina. So the crown of your head is reaching up up, 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 really nice and tall. That turns on your postural muscles in your back. Oh. And then you're going to pull your abdominals in, your deep abdominals. That's stabilizing your core, which helps decompress your spine, mm -hmm. stabilize your spine, and empower your limbs to avoid aches and pains. So, and is that just while we're standing around? Or? Yes. Oh, so wow. you don't want to stand on one hip like this. Uh -huh. You obviously God, don't want to slouch. Posture. I know. Yeah. We all do. So, you know, last season I messed up my shoulder. And they were telling me that the bags I carry to work are too heavy. That you know, sometimes you, you, a lot of ladies have a bag yes before you know you it there's even just so stuff. much stuff in there exactly so let's talk about maybe how we should pick this up yes or is there anything so this is do? where we're carrying the weight right so and we all do this even if you're getting into a car if you're schlepping yep. this home go ahead and put this in your hand oh yeah that's the funny. more weight I usually that's put it on my shoulder correct you naturally figure that out yeah. because the closer it is to your torso the less work and the less potential for injury the further away it is the more exponential oh. the spinal load okay so you want to bring your weight you want to put this over your shoulder you do want to put it on your shoulder yes okay. if your arm can fit through that or you're going to put it on your elbow because you're using the way. larger muscles and joints and which squirt. takes <laughs> less it takes less energy to okay. do the work okay good okay. advice okay. so it's interesting that you say put it on your shoulder because then you know you see people in I line know. at the airport and they're like waiting in line and they're holding onto the bag and it's just like so is the shoulder good or bad so this is this is great for travelers right okay. um if you're going to carry the bag, you want to have that good upright posture. Distribute the load. And also, if you're carrying anything like this, you're distributing the load equally on both sides. Okay. But the better option is do the squat pickup. So let's oh, place that I bag down. You. Right. And you're going to have a flat back. You're going to grab the smaller oh, strap. So don't do this. Okay. Obviously not in your heels, but this is great. I just got stuck in Atlanta Airport, the world's busiest airport. Yes. So I watched all these people holding <laughs> bags and walking with really poor yes. posture. Is so crossbody, does that help? Crossbody does help, but okay. with bags like this, you want to squat, put it down on a clean spot on the floor okay. in line, in those long TSA lines, yes. and then go ahead and lift it up. So you'll get the so benefit it the whole time. of a workout. You okay. don't stress your body with the added compression and you don't end up in your destination with okay. new aches and pains. But obviously sure. this type of bag is probably better. This is the alternate. This. You're going to put the bag, heavy bags. Ladies were guilty of this with our heavy purses. Put yep. it on the rolling bag. No weight is being carried on you. That's okay. why I carry a rolling bag. Just to put exactly. the, the, my backpack sure. around. It's and so and speaking, much easier. Speaking of backpacks, a lot of kids, a lot of adults use backpacks, uh, especially traveling. What should we be looking for in a backpack and how should we be wearing it? So it's also back to school. So this is a good option of picking your backpack. You want something with that's lightweight but sturdy material. You want multiple pockets to disperse the load. You want wide and padded or contoured uh, straps. Mm -hmm. I'm changing you want this chest year. straps if, yep. you, if they come with them, especially if you're going to carry heavy weights. And you want a mm -hmm. padded back with a breathable mesh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those we, protect you. Let's look at Sophia here. Now she's got her backpack. What, what's, what's she doing right or wrong? So this is the do, the don't. 
balance, excuse me. <laughs> she is only using one strap, which mm -hmm. is not ideal. She's going to create muscle imbalances and neck pains and shoulder pains. This is a cool way to hold back. This yeah. is a thin backpack, so right. if there's any books in the edges, they're actually going to poke her in the back oh. if they shift around in the bag. Mm -hmm. We want to tighten up the straps here. So this weight needs to be closer to her spine to avoid the compression uh. in her spine and all the aches and pains that your kids are going to complain about. And both about. straps on. Correct. So with Blake here, he is doing it correctly. A backpack was made with go, two Blake. straps. Go, Good go. job. He's using both straps. He needs to apply this chest strap. Oh. It keeps the straps in close and tight and keeps the weight closer to him. Mm -hmm. With multiple uh, pockets around, you're going to disperse the load. Yeah. And this, the core of this weight. And should weight, you be checking your kids to make sure they're not overloading these Yes, things? correct. So, But the core of this weight should be closer to the back. Mm -hmm. If he's got heavy books, they're closer towards the back of the I backpack, okay. not further away because oh, it's going to pull him. Oh. So if I pull him this way, he mm -hmm. has to slump forward. That's and really it's a helpful. good idea to check it. My daughter was complaining this past school year. Her back was hurting. And I'm like, oh, what's going wow. on? Then I picked up her backpack and I'm like, girl, like, why do you have all this stuff in yeah. your bag? Mm -hmm. So it's not Corinna a bad idea to check. Thank Fantastic you, guys. Tips. That's Thank great. you. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.